I think there's areas of tech and cloud and cybersecurity that, that are actually going to see acceleration. And I think those are some of the areas that, that we're handholding investors to really double down on here. And we continue to be bullish on our multi-year thesis in tech. It's obviously been a painful rotation, but I think specifically some of these subsectors, cybersecurity, cloud, golden buying opportunities, despite the white knuckles, in our opinion. All right, you call it the white knuckle trade because you got to kind of maybe, maybe it's like Bitcoin, right? Hodl at this point, hold on for, for dear life in certain parts. But you think the biggest of the big names, the Apples of the world, the Microsofts, I know they're big. I know they're kind of boring in some ways, but you still believe that's where we want to be invested in tech. Look, on large cap, I can tell you 20 plus years covering tech, we've never seen some of these trends transformational today. I look at Microsoft. The core cloud play, I think that continues to be names where numbers go higher as well as re-rating $300 plus stock. And I look at Apple, and this is one, not just in the services business, but in an elongated super cycle as it plays out, no doubt right now. I mean, the haters are hating, skeptics are out there thinking best in the rearview mirror, and they continue to prove it out in the 5G cycle. And you, and you put this all in a bow, I look at tech right now, and you can't just look at it as just high momentum, multiple names, compressing inflation. There's some subsectors and names. I think we look back right now, 12, 18 months of you, this is really the golden opportunity to own some of these sector winners. Really? Where, where, wh who are they? What are they? Aside from you said the big name, big caps, you mentioned those, Dan. Who else? Well, cybersecurity. I love names like Telos, Federal Cybersecurity Play. Look what's happened, Colonial and SolarWinds Hack. You can names like Zscale, or that's another one that sticks out, SailPoint on cybersecurity. And then I look at cloud, there's names like Pega. And remember, these are Garpy names, not necessarily high multiple names. I think it's a basket that continues to be the way to play this. You want some of the high multiple names, but then there's some of these Garp names that continue to go higher as well as, well as M&A. I believe we're going to see a surge of M&A, both strategic and financial wow. across software. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.